everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie Episode 8. Last time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, we started Gobi's Valley, uh, got about halfway through it. Uh, this episode, we'll be trying to finish it up and probably... Oh my god, I'm failing. Uh, true! Halfway through, uh, finish this up and hopefully start Freeze Easy Peak and uh, get some good uh, stuff done there. So uh, so for the the first thing we're going to go for is on top of the temple, like I said last time, which requires you to get the speed shoes. And sadly, this cutscene happens every time, killing you in about five seconds. And you get about 20 seconds to get up to the top. Now, the best way to do this is to first go up the side of this and get all the, the notes yourself using the speed shoes. Because there sadly are notes on this hill. I have not found a way to do uh, get them all at once and still make it in time. See, that always happens. So, in order to, to increase your likely chance of making it, all you gotta do is fail the first time, grab the shoes, hit the button, watch the cutscene, because it's dumb. It needs to show me every time what's going on. Dash this way. Now, hug the wall as much as you can, because it is the shortest distance. And when you get about halfway up here, jump. Like I said, hug the wall. There we go. What? I hate that about this game. Come on! How dumb! Dumb, dumb, dumb. I hate that. Thank you, finally! Oh. Alright, before swimming down and getting the jiggy, um, if you're interested, there's a mumbo token to this corner here, which is helpful. Uh, other than that, let's go down to the nice smiley face, which is like just a troll on its own. Like, oh, I hope you enjoyed that. Alright, so if you do this, it opens up the door and it drains all the water, which actually becomes useful because it actually fills up the water outside and uh, allows us to get uh, a few things a little bit easier rather than having to deal with the... I don't want to call lava quicksand, so right, let's take care of these guys. All right, there we go. Ran out of invincibility feathers just in time for that. I don't know why it's black on the edges here. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but oh well. What a funky sound. Interesting. That's like the sound of a jiggy, but I know there isn't one. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna go go for a little swim here. It's the last place we really have to go. It's the main anxiety heart attack area, which is the main temple. Um, I call it anxiety because it's almost an instant death if you don't know your way through the maze. Luckily, I've gone through this once already, so I remember the pattern of the maze pretty well. Let's see. Is that everything? No. Nope. We're done now? There we go. Now we can swim back up to the top. And now we need to find this guy. Which, hey, lo and behold, I did that pretty well. Came out right next to him. So now, if the camera doesn't screw you up. There we go. Now these are pretty easy. They're just hungry. They don't move too fast, I don't say. I don't think they do, personally. Um, you just kind of gotta go from platform to platform and feed the lovely doggy pharaohs. I don't know what else to call them, because to me they look like dogs. So, fly this way. Alright. Alright, come on. Come on. There we go. See, I got a lot to see. Nice thing about having 200 eggs, you just can waste them. Who cares? Who cares? I'm not. I'm no conservative eggs. Not like there's an. Uh, not like there's a, a, a limited number of them. Or anything. <laughs> oh my god! Tiny platform. There we go. So I'll open him up this way. It'll make the tower or the pyramid grow, grow, grow. Out of the sand. And ta-da! All right, let's see here. So now we just gotta get the notes on the sides here. All right. This, 
Luckily, these are a little wider than the rest, so you can kind of talent trot these a little bit better. Um, and then quickly talent trot on the top here to get another Mongo token. We're going to number 25, which is good because we need, I said, about 60. So, All right, here we go. Heart attack and a bun. Let's do it. Ah! Only 60 seconds. Let's do this. So the proper order. So what we're going to do is I'm going to first complete the maze because that's easier. So we want to complete the maze first to reset the timer, right? Then we'll see the witch thing, and I'm still going to hit it, even though we don't need that jiggy. I'm still going to hit it, just for the sake of doing it. Uh, up here and around and around. You can do this in one run. It is not impossible. I would definitely not say that. But... Um, for me, I find it a little easier to, maybe it's faster overall to try and do it one run, but I find it easier to get to the end point, see that, oh, there's the switch, and then go the route of trying to find it. Uh, there we go. So, plenty of time. Plenty of time. Alright, get rid get out of here, timer. Nobody cares about you. And we'll get our lovely Jiggy, and this nice gold feather, which we need. Or a mumbo token on here to get jiggy number eight, I think, right? Oh, it's jiggy number seven. This will give us jiggy number eight. Yeah, that's it. Number eight here. Right here. Got a lovely. Oh, we got a gold feather too. Sweet. Alright. There we go. So, and there's only one other jiggy we can really get, plus an empty honeycomb piece. We will wait on the empty honeycomb piece because it just kind of makes sense to get it after we. Uh, come back I think actually no I don't know if Gobi reset so we actually might do that real fast um, so in order to get the last Jiggy what we're gonna do is come back to the beginning if you remember the lovely tree that was here um, if you swim over here you see Gobi he's like oh what a nice place to look so bit thirsty he goes up oh, but my water's for me so in order to share the water you hit him in the back Ah, uh, lovely water. Trinket feels great. I, I still don't get how he's like, I, I need water, but there's this whole water bay around him. It's so funny. It just makes no sense. Anyway, so now he gets nice and tall. Sprouts a jiggy. Best way, climb up one of these trees. And just kind of run. Jump. And there you go. Jiggy number nine. All right, let's go get that lovely honeycomb piece, which we can thankfully get pretty quickly by hitting the super fast shoes. Take it off. Now the nice thing about the fast shoes, they give you kind of a, a boost here, and you can always get rid of them by doing that, by pressing the Z button or the trigger button, and then B. All right, let's take this. Now there's another way you could do this is taking the red carpet. I don't, I don't know, I find it faster to fly than waiting for the carpet. All right, let's go here. And he doesn't like us because we always hit his back and when you hit him, oh, he spits out his honeycomb piece. Bah, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. All right, Gobi, you go do that. All right, so there we go. That brings us to 92 notes, which there's eight more notes in the final area. As I said, we'll get that when we come back, which is this lovely pyramid here, but we, we need one of Kazooie's moves to get into it. So, um, overall, like I said, that's, uh, that's pretty much it for Gobi's uh, Valley, except for having to finish up that one last place, which we'll do after Freeze Easy Peak. So, with this episode, or with this uh, all being done, we'll now go move on to Freeze Easy Peak. Because we don't have anything to really do in this level, because we kind of did it all at the beginning of the last one. So, here you kind of want to just run through this. Sadly, these shoes are slow as crap. Alright. Flutter, flutter. Now, Freeze Easy Peak is back over here where uh, Gobi's Valley's entrance was. So, in order to get there, you gotta climb up the stairs. Alright, get rid of this guy, and then it's just off here to the right. Now, Freeze Easy Peak, like I said, it's, it's my favorite level in the entire game. Uh, I've known it to be a lot of people's favorite levels. Um, one, it's just the theme. The theme is fantastic. Like, the song is awesome. Um, that and it's just a lot of fun. So, alright, let's go into Freeze Easy Peak. 
Ah, Silver Team. All right, there's one more move. All right, so I'm gonna avoid going in the igloo here right away. We'll come here last because it just makes sense before leaving. Come get the last jiggy there. Um, so, so Freeze Easy Peak has some of my least favorite enemies, some of my favorite NPCs, favorite music, uh, and still some annoying, uh, annoying uh, physics properties. Which is the sliding and the ice sliding. But I love ice levels. I love the palette, obviously, with my name being blue. I love the color blue. It's obvious. So, uh, but there, Boggy, he's got a nasty little tummy ache. So, uh, so I always start out this level by doing this lovely package here. And so, this is pretty easy. Um, the twinkles, they, we need to protect them as they go to the tree. Um, the thing with Freeze Easy Peak is that you're going to find out a lot of the jiggies in it. Um, do something where basically, oh, dang it, alright, basically they require um, a lot of steps to them. They're not just simply do X, Y, and Z. Get out of here. Stop eating the light bulbs. Right, come back here. Stop eating my bulbs. Yeah, you're not gonna save them all, sadly. You just kind of have to just make sure these guys go down in that kind of correct pecking order. But it's not too bad. There we go. All right, I kind of wait on that one, so we should be good. And that should be the last two. So I don't care how this goes now, because that should be like all number ten. All right, see, so yeah, now you get an on switch, which is a little annoying because, as I said. That's close to made it, but now switch us on. So now the concept is you get them in, and then you gotta turn them on, and then you gotta go around the tree three times. It's a lot of steps, and that kind of becomes the thing with Banjo Kazooie and Banjo Tooie later is that it kind of starts introducing more complex jiggies, where in the first few worlds they're pretty easy. Freeze Easy Peak kind of introduces more complex ones. Um, so I'm going to, for starters, avoid that one for now, and I'm gonna do all the flying ones right away. That makes a bit of sense. Then we're gonna do the walrus jiggies, and then we'll wrap up by uh, finish up from there. So let's learn this lovely new move, which is the beak bomb. Nice one, goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying, press X to launch Kazooie at a target like a missile. Choose the targets carefully, though, as it costs red feather. Now this move and I have some bad, and here it's saying, "Oh yeah, we learned all the moves in the game." So no more new moves. You can get everything uh, pretty much in one run now. But uh, this uh, this move and I have some bad, bad history. <laughs> um, it happened in the last time. We'll see if it happens this time. But I am terrible at aiming it. Uh, without a crosshair, it's just not very good at it. So, uh, one of the jiggies requires you to hit these lovely snowmen. And that occurs to me a lot. Where I just naturally just miss. And, oh, uh, poor water. And again, as I explained, so a lot of these levels, these later levels, have this mechanic where it's like hazards everywhere, and it can kind of get obnoxious. Come on. I still miss them. And that I can agree with. How did that not... There, die. Get out of here. And there I missed. I missed. So obnoxious. This episode. There. See, that's a good one. That's a good one. I can't do that all the time. There we go. Come at him from a distance. There we go. Hey, combo. I will take it. We think it could all be this easy, please. Yeah, I'll take it. Take my jiggy. Give me my jiggy. All right. Hey, I will. I will accept that. All right. So the other jiggies that we need to get now. Now there's a whole bunch of stuff that they left on the ground. And I know I don't got much time here left. So I'm just gonna do this, and then we're gonna go. I'm gonna get the two jiggies that appear here, and we'll wrap it up from there. Next episode, we'll we'll do the Christmas tree. Um, get that jiggy wrapped up and then go collect all the stuff that they dropped. 
Alright, here you just want to kind of hit. Fly up. Hit. Fly up. Hit. And that's it. It's pretty simple. And then, so you have to fly to get the one jiggy that you got here. So to get it, we'll just fly all the way up. And then do that. And then we'll take our lovely jiggy. And these ice cubes are like lit. And so, I'm not going to get anything else on top of the snowman. Because it makes more sense to kind of do it in a linear fashion. Um, for other prizes. But what we'll do... Or for other items that are on it. Because we kind of use the bobsled on Boggy and all that fun stuff. Is I'll get all the stuff up here. And then we'll go down there and get the... The lovely jiggy it just pooped out. And then actually... I might do the Christmas tree. I might do the Christmas tree. Maybe I said I'd do the next episode. I kind of feel I can get it done in this one too. So, so my my argument is if I can get it done, why would I not do it? All right. So to kind of save myself, I'm gonna slide down the side here. All right. That take the damage. Get my mumbo token. Go around his legs. Get all the items here. And then we'll go bust open the Christmas tree, at least get all the flying done this episode. And then we'll move on from there in the next part. Like I said, it'll be fairly simple. And the nice thing is, if you do the snowman thing right away, um, it really helps uh, for moving throughout the level. Because they can be really obnoxious as enemies. They are honestly my least favorite enemy in the entire game. Uh, mainly because they can snipe you so well. So, 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 so well. So. Alright, run, 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 run. We're gonna wanna go to the back side here, and all you gotta do is hit the on switch three times with the eggs. And then we gotta kinda run. If I can get the camera set up for him more properly. There we go. So now it goes and goes, yippee, be a star, and you'll find your new reward. Woo! Hurry! So we're gonna want to run, 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 run back to the fly pad and kind of light up the I don't know, light up the star, kind of go through it three times because you know everything's done in threes. Why not? Oh shit! I hope I have enough feathers for this. I do not have many feathers. I hope I have enough feathers. Let's circle around here. Okay, I can get two. Okay, I think I have just enough feathers here. Which is good, because then we're done with the flying here. Yeah, just enough feathers. Alright, beautiful. And then I'll build up that jiggy. So, thank you guys for watching. How did I get on that side of this, the tree? I don't know. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you're liking Freeze Easy Peak. Like I said, my favorite level. So many memories. Love the music. It's very Christmassy. Sadly, it's not Christmas really. <laughs> So, uh, again, on the next episode, we'll finish up Freeze Easy Peak. So, please, comment, like, subscribe, do all the good stuff. I hope you guys really enjoyed this. And I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Have a lovely day.